G'day everybody, welcome back to another Ross Reviews and today on the channel, HSV enthusiasts are going to rejoice a bit because we have got a prototype VR Manta. So in the VS range, in the VT range, they had those Manta editions. This was the test car. It's stamped triple zero. It's a HSV prototype car. It's got the Manta badging, the different interior. Still a five liter V8 up front, manual, and you just don't see VRs, especially, you know, prototypes like this, man. So we're gonna check this car out today. We're gonna get in it, we're gonna drive it, and uh, yeah, figure out what this thing is all about. Now guys, in this VR Manta, uh, again with the five liter up front, the manual five speed, this thing is just too cool and you know, I had to come and check this car out because prototype, stamp triple zero, and there is a pretty cool story with, you know, how this thing came together. Now, when this car first came out, again, this is a 94, this was an executive model. So for, I think the owner was telling me about a week, this thing was on, you know, out the factory as an executive. And then obviously they were gonna have these Manta editions coming out in the VS and the VT. So this was their test car. So they brought it back in and essentially Mantified, HSVified this executive VR. And so now we've got, you know, the HSV steering wheel. We've got the, the Manta interior on the seats. Uh, you know, all the HSV badges, which funny enough, you have a close eye, you'll see on the side of the car, it's still got a Commodore badge and right underneath on the skirt, HSV badging and then Manta badging next to it. So it is a bit of a Frankenstein, but again, when it's, you know, a prototype stamp triple zero, they only made one in the VR, uh, it's definitely cool. And look, the color of this thing, it's called Sherbrooke Green and I do think it looks pretty cool on this car. Now this car is totally original, um, bar the wheels on it. So this is running 20 inch tri-spoke, uh, you know, aero wheels, I think, or whatever they call them. Uh, but have a look at the picture of the original wheels that did come with this car. Um, you know, the owner still has them, but yeah, they definitely don't look that great, to be honest. So that is a little bit unfortunate. They didn't give it a bit nicer set of wheels. So we've got all the HSV exhaust on this. Um, you know, again, it's a 185. All of the Mantas, I believe, even in the VS and the VT, they still were 185s, uh, you know, kilowatts for the five liter V8 because I think you had to have the GTS, I think you had to have the top trim level to be able to option in the stroker, um, which, you know, obviously did give you a bit more power, a bit more displacement. mistaken by the Manta badging. This has nothing to do with Manta exhaust or anything like that that you might know of, you know, nowadays, but wasn't the same. This was sort of its own HSV, I guess, just, you know, like the name, thought it was cool. And uh, it really didn't have anything to do with that exhaust brand. Uh, as, you know, you can hear this thing. It's got the HSV exhaust, but you know, it's nothing on, out of this world. It's, um, the classic HSV, this thing, and in terms of a, a good cruiser, absolutely does it. Um, drives well. Again, in a manual, the five liter, the V8 is how you got to do these things, man. And yeah, this thing's just got style. And again, you know, just just throwing the gears in this thing, it's still a lot of fun. Now she red lights a little over 5,000 RPM, but. It's only got 185 kilowatts. It's not a rocket ship, this thing, but in terms of just, you know, a fun classic cruiser, this thing, you know, it's from 1994. The car is 30 years old. Um, 
So, you know, to see it in this condition still, uh, 140,000 Ks on it, it, it really is impressive. And just another cool story related to this car, you know, when it first came out, this was actually the HSV director's personal work car. So he was using this thing for years. Um, and, you know, again, it's little touches like that, you know, stamp triple zero, being a prototype, pre-production. Uh, it's cool history with a car like this. Absolutely. There'd be some stories to tell, I think, in this car and, you know, maybe who he was taking out in it. 100%. Hey guys, again, if you're enjoying this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment. That is how we get the algorithm pumping. It's how we get the views and are able to travel around this great country and bring this content to you guys at home. And uh, yeah, finding cars like this, you know, pre-production models, it's, you know, it's a challenge. So the more followers we get, the more cars like this we'll be able to have on. And just pulling it through some corners here, you know, again, it's it's a big old Commodore at the end of the day, you know, Manta Edition, whatever you call it. But you came out. It still gets up and goes, you know what I mean? For 30 years ago, this was a serious amount of power, you know what I mean? 185 kilowatts, mate, but I think this had about 400 newton meters of torque. Just good fun. Proper Oz DM. Muscle car, get the family in the back, do whatever you need to do. I've always felt too, you know, looking back at when HSV and FPV were in their prime, they had just some of the coolest concept cars, uh, you know, some of the pre-production models they were testing. They just did crazy dumb shit and stuff that today, you know, you just wind up in jail for making. Um, and it's a shame that we've gone to such a, a weak, crappy car industry, you know, 2024 now and everything's just a hybrid or an EV and it's just lame. Um, these cars, especially, you know, HSV and FPV, they've done some mad stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame we don't have this auto industry anymore. It really is. Alrighty, guys. Now, 0 to 100. I actually don't know what this thing was claimed at, but, you know, again, it's not going to be a rocket here, but we'll give it a crack. It's a 30-year-old car, so we'll, we'll take it pretty easy. But let's, uh, let's see how we go. And right there guys, 8.7. So again, it's <laughs> it's not fast, but it is a you know 30 year old prototype car. It's a five liter, 185 kilowatts. It's not huge, but the fact that you know you can row gears, you can hear the V8, and you can cruise in this thing. It's uh it's really a joy to drive. So speed, it's not really what its thing is, but it is cool. Now guys, look, we're gonna finish the video off here today. So look, this VR Manta prototype, one of one, a true one of one, guys. Uh, yeah, this thing was just too cool to come check out. Uh, I had to see this thing. And, you know, again, all the badging, the history, the story of this car, how the HSV director owned it. It's, it's a piece of history. You know, the thing probably could be in a museum, mate, but uh, yeah, I'm so glad we got to show this off. So guys, again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see you on that next one.